Good morning. Happy March 1st, everyone. And a happy birthday to my bestie, Stephanie, in Ohio. Um, so February has come to a close. And one of my goals for the month of February was to stay in my personal planner um, rings all month. And I did. And I'm still doing it. I'm really proud of myself. I think what's helped me stick with this is because I'm able to switch things out and move it around and readjust as much or as needed. Um, as well as this Moterm cover um, has stood up to use and still looks in perfect condition. Um, so if you're on the fence for getting a Moterm uh, cover, whether it's the TN, which I have one of these, or even um, their pocket size rings. And this one's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to say go for it. The price is reasonable um, and they come in various colors and they look good and they seem to really wear very well. And I have been using this every day. Um, let's see, January, February, I've been using this one, this TN style, and it's it still looks gorgeous. Nothing seems to look like it's rubbed off or anything. Every day I've used this. So anyway, let's go into a couple different things with this. Um, some, I did get, um, of course, my February subscription box from Cloth and Paper. Um, and I got some other inserts. This is one of the little journaling cards from Cloth and Paper for the February box. Um, what... I am discovering or I'm contemplating is that I might uh, cancel my cloth and paper subscription um, for at least a little while, maybe. Um, and the reason being is because I'm finding like, um, like these tapped sticky notes came in this month's box. I got so many of these in the different patterns, like even these. And then there's a, a set <laughs> from a last year box. Um, and I got some other ones. And I just don't really use all this stuff. Um, here's the March journaling planner card. Um, we In the previous box, we got the full year. So... Um, I just highlighted this being March 1st because I have a major, for one, it's my bestie's birthday today and um, a major final debt payment uh, for today. And that's it. There's no more um, bad debt on my credit report. And I'm just like, <laughs> and then the pay periods for this month. So these um, little transparent dots or whatever are from one of the subscription boxes so i just prepped it and i put my priorities right here there's a, another one of the this is a transparent journaling card from the february kit which is really cute and i just put it here see i didn't have some sticky notes these little cards are from when i get my when I get my um, inserts from G Paper Paper Terry, <laughs> um, I love these. They're double sided, so you can use it for notes or to dos. And I just stick them here because they go great with my color scheme. But even though this is pretty, I mean, it's like, where am I really going to put that? Um, so anyway, um, I did part of the challenge for cloth and paper, which was to create a table of contents. Um, and already this needs to be uh, <laughs> updated. And I also made an index. So anyway, there's a lot of, you know, um, another journaling card. 
there's a lot of different little doodads and things in here that I'm considering even taking out um, because just from here you can see there's a lot of paper in here going forward so this was my February month on two pages I love my Monday starts and these inserts are from G can you see that G paper from Etsy or Etsy shop and um, I have a little bit of prep already done for March and I have the week on a uh, fold out um, from her and I decided to take them out for the time being um, and just use the dailies I received so let me just go to my dailies and what I also found with the dailies is um, the happy planner stickers fit great in these columns so i did some decorating so i'm just going to kind of flip through some of my pages um and i have some random other stickers i'm just start, trying to use some of my stash you guys because i have so much um in my um stash so many stickers and sticky notes and so forth i'm just like let me use this stuff so here's when i started using um and if you're wondering where these cute ones are from they are from the mini everyday um wrong wrong set as well as i was using the uh they say glam girl and this one has you know stickers as well as sticky notes and flags and these journaling cards and you know of course the happy planner stuff like these journaling cards are made for discs so all i did was i used my paper cutter cut off the edge hole punch to fit on the actual rings I'm just kind of glammed it up. This one isn't a happy one. That's a different one from a Walmart. Um, there was this other brand that's kind of like Happy Planner. And I found that the stickers in that kit were wider than my boxes. So I won't be using those again in here. Another journaling card I cut and put on the rings. And there's yesterday and yesterday I worked I'm a case manager at an emergency foster care shelter but we're kind of short on staff so I had to actually work um, as direct care and yes um, this adulting is hard yes it was a challenge yesterday oh goodness and then the end of February has just a dot grid notes. I love dot grid. Then what I realize, if you're wondering how I got my March divider, you guys, I'm like, why didn't I think about this before? So I had previously, like sometime in the last year, I guess, um, got the babes, and this is from, I guess, the wrong wrong, mini, and, um, and this is the where it has the dashboard kind of set up, which I really liked. All these pages had this cute set. And I was like, I'm not really using this. I mean, I try to, but it's like, why? And so I wasn't really using this. And then just last night, I realized I could be using, I mean, these are so cute. So it's part of the monthly. And boom, I took the March out. I took a regular uh, personal sheet out, personal size sheet, measured, cut, and then I also um, glued on the back a regular grid that I had wasn't going to use, um, well, because I had numbered it for something else, and glued it on the back, and boom, I can use from the mini kit 
these tabs and I have a cute girl every month. <laughs> so I'm so happy. I figured that out. I did this just last night. So I got me a cute girl for March. And then I could use the other side for any notes or I can use it as a, a master list. I can set this up as a master list or just March, whatever. Um, let's see. I also um, purchased from Dear Planner Etsy shop these double-sided task lists. They're daily, weekly task lists. And so here is the one I'm going to use or I'm thinking about using for this week. Um, so you have up here where you can put your daily. So it's a tracker and then your weekly stuff. So I got those, a set of those from her shop. And then also I got from her shop these meal planners because I'm trying to do better with um, my diet. So um, you can put your meals here and then your shopping list here. And I really like that. This was this week. So I like these. I'm going to continue using these. All right. And then um, if you're wondering this today. Transparent is from cloth and paper from the... Uh, January sub box and actually this is kind of fit. and then I still have the Franklin Covey um, progressive task list I like these I'm gonna continue using this so this one's set up for March and then here is today and again I use some happy planner stickers and I love the way this looks now, in the February sub box, we got some more um, beautiful dashboards, or yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it dashboard. There's one, there's another one here too. Um, but we also got these trackers. Now, the February cloth and paper kit was more about task management and projects. Um, so I just started this one off. March 2nd because it's a Monday. I didn't want to waste a whole week for just starting it here for the first. Um, so I've set this up and this is project schedule and it's double sided so you can put the rest of your month and we got a, uh, I guess a year worth of these I believe. Um, so I'm thinking do I want to use this so I have the whole month instead of using just this weekly. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I've already put the numbers across the top, put March here. I just haven't written out my task because I'm gonna consider it today. And then here's another dashboard we received in the February kit. And then we have um, these tiered, uh, kind of like goals set. And I like this, so week, so we got um, enough for every week of these I, I like this and then it's double-sided so you have notes on the other side then you have month and I'm thinking for the month your top three I guess we'll go across I gotta look at cloth and paper um, Facebook page or not Facebook page but um, YouTube channel and then you have weeks for the month uh, one two three four five going down this way and notes on the back and then you have quarter and you, we have a collection of these and one first month second month third month notes and then aligned here and then you have a year it has january through december and then on the back notes then you have these are more than the project pages and so this is where i don't know if this is going to be something I'm going to use. I mean, they're nice inserts. So these are project analysis, project management, and 
timeline. This, these are really nicely made, but um, I would say I probably would use these if I had them um, for my disc work um, system for my um, half letter size or junior size. That would probably work out better than for my personal, but I changed my subscription to personal because I just didn't really need any more to go in my work planner. I have it set where it's it's good, it's working. So yeah, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of considering if I really need this this February stuff other than the dashboards. And um, a couple of the other little, you know, cute little doodads. So, yeah, but my daily system is working. I took out the weeklies. At first, I was like, I can kind of pre-plan using the weekly. And I really did like those. If, do check my previous um, uh, videos to see the fold-outs. Um, but, because um, I got the fold-outs now without the timeline. But yeah, I'm just liking this. This gives me that Franklin Covey planner feel. Um, and that's that. So then we have March and I got me yeah, a wrong, wrong girls. Yes, I am all about that. Um, so then I wanted to show you guys. I was like, okay, what am I going to use to kind of to archive and i hear that question a lot in planner groups even in the japanese planner facebook group uh, what are you guys doing um to archive um now if you have a bound a year bound book well that's not really an issue but if you have where you have inserts um then that is a question so i saw this on the file effects website and then i saw that it was on amazon and um this is their archival, and this is in the personal size. It comes with a card that you can slide out, and you can put whatever data that you need to based on what you have stored in here. So maybe if you have it filled with, you know, quarter one or whatever, you can do that. Here's the back. And this is called personal storage binder and I believe they have this in every size of the file of facts. And so this is not um, like using an extra binder, okay? So it's it's stiff, it's, it's not made for you to uh, really flip through. I mean, I can a little bit flip through, but it's stiff. So this doesn't lay out flat, but this is how it works. Just like that. It has these metal prongs that fit over here. And so here's like my weekly fold outs. Let me just show you. Oh. It should, it should be the other way, but, but anyway, but the fold out kind of like worked like this a little bit, but anyway, um, oh, really, that's the other side there. So you just put them on your prong, the prongs and and it closes up easily like that. So I'm trying this out. I mean, it didn't cost very much. Um, I will put the link on the um, Amazon, from the Amazon spot where I got that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, again, I'm going to be considering how I'm going to use those new inserts because I am still using um, my power, um, my goal planner. And I like this. This is working out for me. Um, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going into my third month of using that for my goals, for my power sheets. Um, I'm going to continue using this. I'm loving it. I got a lot, 
a lot going on in here, including, you know, stuff that's in the full pocket. And I love it. It feels good. The size feels good. Um, I'm kind of debating, do I want 30 miller, miller, 30 millimeter rings? So should I get a different cover? But I don't think so. And I think it's that I just need to have in here what I really need to be in here. Okay. And not just fill it up with stuff just because I get it. So, um, yeah, that's that. So anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please post them down below. Please, um, hit the like button. That really helps me out. And um, I hope you guys have a great March. I hope you're reaching your goals and you're getting the things done that are important to you. And I will have something new to show you guys next weekend. So come back, y'all. <laughs> Bye.